Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in okay, which surah is it? Surah Ambiya. Right, surah Ambiya, yeah. verse 98, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so let's go to Surah Ambiya. Okay, let's go to Surah Ambiya, yeah? Yeah. So you're saying... <coughs> It's not me saying, it's Quran is saying. Okay. It's Quran is saying 21, chapter that 21, Jesus yeah. and myself okay. will be in verse, hellfire. Verse, verse 98. Yeah, verse 98. Okay, verse 98. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so basically, uh, in verse 98 it says, Verily you, the unbelievers, and the false gods that you worship besides Allah, are but a fuel for hell, to which will sh you shall uh, surely come. So what, what he's saying is that, Allah will put into the fire all the false deities that they worship. Yeah. So what, he, what our uncle is asking here is, doesn't that mean? Sorry. Doesn't that mean that Jesus will also go to the hellfire because we as Christians worship him? So this is a misconception. Why? Because we know what we learn. Inshallah, I can't remember exactly what book we went through. Is that the person that you're worshiping is happy being worshipped? So for example, why would Jesus? be put, put into the fire when he wasn't happy with being worshipped. So for example, if you start bowing down to me and say, Ali, you are my God, Ali, you are my God, yeah? Why would God put me in hellfire for something you're doing I'm not happy with? I say to you, don't do that, worship God. You say, no, Ali, you are my master, you are my master. You are doing it. I am not happy with what you're doing. However, if I'm happy and I say, yes, I'm your God, yes, then I'm, I'm accepting you claiming me to be a deity, yeah? So therefore, that's the reason why Jesus will not go to the fire. Why, I'm not saying you, but people who worship other than God, yeah? Because you may enter the paradise, I might go hell. I don't, I'm not having this approach where I believe I'm better than you. All I'm saying is, maybe you might be better than me. You might come to God better than me, yeah? So what I'm saying is that, so, that's is the, the reason why... What is the criteria the, for that? The, the, the criteria for a, for a, for a, for to go in, into paradise. To paradise. Yeah, it's yeah. very simple. Criteria. Very simple. Allah, God doesn't ask much from you. All Allah asks from you is worship me alone. That's look. It's very simple. So that's why when some people come to me and say, so oh, you sin and you worship him. Huh? So if you worship him alone, you still sin. Okay. So so okay. The, the base criteria for anyone to eventually enter in paradise is that you do not associate any partners to God, because we believe the greatest crime is to worship anything besides God. Now you might say, hold on a second Ali, I believe killing an innocent baby is worse than that. We say, because you do not fathom the crime, what you're doing of worshiping partners to God, to you it seems, uh, what's the big deal? It's a massive deal. That's why in your book and my book and in the Old Testament that you will find, it says, I, I God, I'm a jealous God. Do not worship any gods besides me, yes? In one of the commandments. So, as long as you die worshiping God alone, and if Islam has come to you and you know Islam is the truth and you reject it, you're in trouble. However, Islam is the only religion with this criteria. If you're an atheist, a Christian, a Jew, a Hindu, you atheist, whatever you may be, if you die and Islam hasn't reached you, you will not go to the hellfire straight away. God will test you on the day of judgment. Now, in Christianity that doesn't exist, in Christianity you reject Jesus, you're finished. In Islam, I'm telling you, a Hindu, a Christian, a Jew, you name it, has a potential of going heaven. Why? Because Allah says we do not punish anybody until we've sent a messenger. So, God doesn't want fire for you. And Allah says in the Quran, what will I get out of punishing you? So Allah wants paradise for you. However, if we come to the park and we establish Islam is the truth, and you know inside your heart is the truth, so, but you don't want it, uncle, then you're in trouble. No, no. How, how, can, how can you say, how can you say that Islam is a truth, whereas a Quran says there is a truth, there is a light, and there is a there is a light in the Torah, Zabur, and Angel. Torah, Zabur, and Angel. There is a guidance. There is a light well, and there is a truth in that. Yes. Yes? Yes, yes true, true. So if there is a truth, there is a guidance, there is a light already are in the in the yes. Torah, yes. Zabur and Anjil. Yes. And it lead me and guide me to worship Jesus as word. In the beginning was word, 
the word was with god and the word was god the word became flesh and lived among us and that is jesus that is jesus john chapter 1 verse 1 john chapter 1 verse 1 and verse 16 do you know this verse is uh, uh, it's verse 14 sorry no no you know this verse you said in the, in the in the beginning there was the word and the word was with god and the word was god yes do you know this is not um, this was taken out of the bible as not authentic oh. no, you know you know uh, who, who says that okay, who says you. that i'll show you <laughs> who says that you, maybe you don't know i'll show you No, I can show you right now. No one, one. That uh, word you just said. John chapter one, verse one. I can show you right now. No, no, no. I know you can no, show no. there. Yeah. John one, one. John chapter one, verse one, so and verse forty. I know that verse doesn't belong there. No, no. I can, I can show you right now. John chapter one, verse one. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, can, Tommy, can you Tommy, see this? Tommy, yeah. Tommy, where are you? Can you see this? John chapter one. Okay. Can you see this? John chapter one, verse one. It says, Yes. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Okay. And and keep reading. The same was in the beginning was God. Yeah. All things were made through Him. All without, things were made through Him. Yes. 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 And, and without Him was not anything made. And nothing was made without Him. Yes. Okay. So, so He made Jesus also. Yes. Yeah? Jesus so God made Jesus no no word word God is coming okay verse 14 okay. verse 14 okay. let's read verse 14 here let's, let's, Na, let's please 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 read verse 14 here verse 14 verse 14 <laughs> yeah show me verse 14 So why are you doing that? I I I answer the first part of the question. Well, he broke one. the law and if he's going to go to prison, it's the same he says I'm asking somebody I committed a crime and they locked me up. How do you feel? No, I never. That was that was another white lady actually. Verse 14. But we should I think we should talk. Should we have a discussion right after this? Verse 14. Let's have a talk, please. Verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory glory as of the only one begotten from the father uh-huh. full of grace and truth that's right yes that's right. so so if this word yes is god himself you if this word god. is uh, you claim that the only god yes 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 if this word is the only god then this word who became jesus According to Quran, yes. Surah Anbiya, yes. verse 98, yeah. Jesus and myself, because I'm the worshiper of Jesus, so according to Quran, I'm going to be in hell fire with Jesus. No, so I, I already, I already addressed that. The Quran is talking about. I've already clarified. No, I've no, already no, no, no. You clarified uh, something different. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So I've already clarified that. You worshiping me without me being given my consent or being happy with it means you will go to the fire because I did not ask you to worship me. <laughs> it's just that. So, so, so anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Is so, that, so you you are uh, rejecting, so you are rejecting uh, the God who is a word, very word. You are rejecting that. Yes, the God who is the very oh, yeah. word and the word who is becoming. and taking a flesh okay so you are rejecting that no problem if you feel if you feel i've made it very clear it's very simple you worship somebody doesn't mean they're going fire because i don't want to be worshiped if you're worshiping me it's not my fault so just the same way jesus will not go to the fire because jesus never asked you to worship him you worship him he didn't say to you worship me so that's the same so you said now that the injil the torah is a light and truth in it It is. I don't deny it. Uh, I don't. The, the problem is this. I don't say your Quran is telling. Quran says that yes. Your Quran about, is telling me there is a guidance, there is a light. Yes, but the point here is, who told you the Bible you have is the Injil? Who told you the Bible that you have is the Injil? Who said that? Your Muhammad. Show me. Your what? Muhammad swayed on. my bible no 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 on the your injil. muhammad swayed on my bible on the and said on said that uh, i believe the one who sent these books okay yeah. the bible that you have 
Is it the same Bible that Jesus came with? The Bible that you have today, is it the same Bible that Jesus came with? Jesus have never come with any book. Jesus himself is the very word. Jesus himself is a God incarnated in a flesh. So, so this is... No, no, we answered it already. Like, like all I'm saying. What, what, what? Jesus come without the Bible. So that's me. Then why do you have the Bible? The Bible is not the right Bible. People can change it. What? Who can change? Who can change? This is this is God's word. This is God's word. This is God's word. I am happy. Nobody. I'm happy. Thank you very much. I'm not happy, but uh, <laughs> one day you'll be happy. When? Thanks for visiting Salam Kona. When? You have been Salamified. When? When will be, uh, when will I be? When you worship God alone, you'll be. Happy. Oh, I worship uh, God alone. No, you don't. I worship God alone. No, you don't. The God who came uh, in the burning bush, I worship that God. The God who came on the mountain to give ten commandments. I worship that God. I worship that God who came to Abraham and Sarah to give a good news. I worship that God. No, 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 no. Your God, which is Allah, who cannot come on the mountain to give ten commandments. He cannot, he cannot come to mountain to give ten commandment to Moses. Allah cannot be a true God according to Quran and according to Hadith. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because Muhammad's father was Abdullah. Am I right? Yeah? And Abdullah means the slave of Allah. But Abdullah was born in pagan family. He lived as a pagan, he worshipped pagan Allah, and he died as a pagan. Therefore, whose worshipper he was, whose servant he was, whose man he was, he was the man of a, a pagan Allah. Yes? So your claim, if I'm not mistaken, yes, the Prophet's parents died as disbelievers, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Now, are you telling me yeah. that if your parents are people, that by default, the, anything that comes out, the children are all finished? They're all evil. Is that what you're saying to me? What I'm saying is this, because he was the servant of Allah. Yeah, Abdullah. Abdullah. His name, his name means the servant of Allah. Yes. Yes. But he was the worshipper of pagan Allah. He was. He died as a pagan. He lived as a pagan. So which Allah servant he was? No, no. His which Allah servant he was? His, no, his point is this. He's saying that Abdullah means the slave of Allah. Yeah. So, please, please, please. He's saying that Abdullah means the slave of Allah. Yeah. So let's say your name is Abdullah, argument's sake, and you worship Jesus. Just because your name is the slave of God, doesn't mean you would live up to that. We have a lot of people who go by the name of Muhammad, but they don't live up to the Prophet. Just because your name means something, you can't blame the person and say, oh, your name is... Uh, he loves God very much, but you don't love God very much. Why are you no. attacking somebody because what, of his name? What I'm saying on, is this. No, no, no. What I'm saying is this. That uh, because Abdullah's God was Allah. Yeah? Abdullah's God was Allah. Yes. yes. Abdullah's God was Allah. Yes. Yes. Allah. 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 Yes.